So I finally got my hands on my very first Ipsy subscription box and this is for the month of June and I believe this is like the middle tier glam bag plus if I'm not mistaken. It's not the $12 one. I believe this was $25 but if I'm wrong I will put that on the screen. So without further ado let's go ahead and open this up see what's inside and then of course like usual we'll be making a painting inspired by what's inside and then I'll be doing a makeup look with whatever makeup they decide to give us. And I'm very ready to do makeup because I have a very unwelcome visitor right here on my cheek and I'm just breaking out and I believe it's just from wearing masks all day at work because of, you know, the whole situation with COVID, but that's not a problem. We'll go ahead and cover it up if we can cover it up today and do what we can. Okay, so here's the box. And before we open it up, I just wanted to say, I think I actually know exactly what's in this box. And that is totally a mistake on my part. So I have the Ipsy app. Um, I just downloaded it because it told me that I could when I first subscribed to this. And I was able to kind of see exactly what should be coming in this box. So I kind of have all of the spoilers, but it is okay because you guys do not. So we can still look at it together. Also, one last thing I needed to say, I did pick out one of the things in this box. They gave the option a little bit early if you wanted to pick out one of the things or just have it be a complete mystery or like have them choose. And of course I chose to pick something because instead of getting everything that I don't want, I decided if I could just get one thing that I knew I'd be happy with, that would be fine by me. So let me go ahead and turn this to the side. And this just says discover yourself and we'll move this to the side so that we can see everything. This is orange foam. The BoxyCharm boxes all have black foam, which kind of makes sense because their boxes are black. I think this would have made a little bit more sense if it was pink, but I am not the creative designer there. So the first thing I see is this that says make waves for June 2020. And here comes the sun. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> so I think it's just kind of giving some tips there and I guess some kind of competition to enter. So I will put that here up here to the side. And then next thing I see is this box that is already open which is fine because it saves me the hassle of trying to do it myself. And in here is the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Gives a natural looking backlit glow, revives dull complexions, help refine the look of pores. So the next thing I see is this watermelon box that says Perlice on it. I believe that's how you pronounce that, but I'm not 100% sure, so please do not quote me. And it is a watermelon energizing aqua balm. Okay, so actually before I try and open this this box, I wanted to go ahead and swatch these. I always forget to swatch things that aren't makeup directly. So let me go ahead and do that so you guys can see. Okay, so it looks like it is a bit light and my wrists are a very light part of my body. So it's hard to say that it like completely disappears clear or if it does have a bit of a light sheen, but we'll see that when we test it on the face. It smells really nice. It smells like, um. I don't know it kind of it does remind me of like skincare but it's like nice it doesn't have a, a non-scent but it smells good so hopefully that won't be a problem so back to this so this is the pearlese watermelon energizing aqua balm it is lightweight oil-free gel cream this is what it looks like it's very cute like i said i saw these before so when i saw this on the app i thought it would be a little bit smaller so i'm kind of happy that it's a bit bigger than i thought oh my goodness yeah so it smells exactly like watermelon candy I can't think of an exact candy, unfortunately, but if you ever had any type of watermelon candy, it smells just like that. It smells on the face, all over the face. Um, I'm not too fond of, like this is a very strong watermelon candy scent. And that just kind of turned me off to the idea of putting it on my face because I'm like, oh my goodness, is my face gonna smell like watermelon? I like clean, refreshing smells. So these more artificial candy, fruity, even flowery smells are not my fave, not in a perfume, not in a cream. So we'll have to see. And this is just a clear gel. Okay, before we go through the rest of these, I wanted to pick this out real quick. If you've already seen me open up the Ipsy Mystery Glam Bag that I had purchased, which is a waste of money, I do not recommend. This I got in there. And the reason I'm getting this again was because before I opened that box, Ipsy gave me the option because I had, I guess, a few points for signing up to pick a free product that I thought I'd like. So I looked through all of them that I could get from the points that I had. I know some people probably would save their points and get something better by adding up points. I didn't really figure that I'd add up more points by doing anything special. So I just wanted to get something out of the way. 
And unfortunately, I got something that I already have. And if I would have known before what I know now that I would have got that in that box, I wouldn't have got this again, but it is okay. So this is just a blush. And I've said before in that video, but if you haven't seen it, I think it's a pretty nice color, very light. It's called Houston Street. And that is just, wow, I took a lot of, <laughs> I took a lot of blush. So it's very light. I don't know if you can see or if it's too bright, but it's just a nice pale pinkish color. And I'm not really mad because this is very nice. I said before, but you can throw this in like a purse. So I really like that, that it's very good for like on the go. So I'll definitely keep this around because having more blushes probably isn't a bad thing since I don't really wear a lot of blushes anyways. But this is also good because this just kind of amps up how much makeup we have in this box to try out. The next thing I want to pick out is this. And this is the thing that I was able to choose myself and get. This is the Ciate London marbled metals metallic glitter eyeshadow and i got this because wow i thought a glitter a metallic glitter eyeshadow just sounded really cool so let's watch this i'm very excited to watch this okay i hope you guys can see that i know it's very bright so it's kind of shiny so that's actually very interesting i think we're just gonna have to try that one on the eyes to see how i feel about it and not just kind of assume from a swatch okay so the next thing we have here is not in an outer box and this is the araceli Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliners. So perfect eyes, liquid eyeliners. So this is just a felt tip liquid liner. And I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand because why do the wrist when the wrist is hard for me to turn when I can do this? Okay, so I know I've said this before, but I'll just say it again. I don't always do a winged eyeliner and it's not because I don't like the look of winged eyeliners. I think they're very pretty, but it's very hard to make each side even. And especially on my eyes, they're a little bit different of a shape. So it's hard for them to look even and as an artistic person i'm such a perfectionist and i hate it when they don't come out even but i do like that this is a felt tip liner so i am excited for this because it is a felt tip so it is a bit stiffer and you can get those nice thin lines so i'm hoping that'll kind of help me and i hope it'll look good the only thing with these is i feel like sometimes it can dry out kind of fast just because of the formula i don't know i don't know how much of liquid they actually put in this like barrel because when i've had one like this before i felt like it dried out pretty fast but only time will tell and we will have to try that out okay so the next thing we have are these farah brushes and it's the be beautiful bu brushes and i know that from looking online these are for eyeshadow okay so i don't actually buy eyeshadow brushes myself the ones that i use i have some anastasia beverly hills makeup palettes and they come with eyeshadow brushes so i usually just use those so it's going to be hard for me to speak on the quality whether i think they're better than your average brushes or if i can compare them to anything I can only pretty much compare them to those and those brushes are pretty much just like a complimentary brush that comes with your eyeshadow palette but i will tell you this the metal they feel very light like they're not a heavy metal they don't feel very very sturdy in that sense they pretty much just feel hollow like they have this nice little metal looking thing but they feel pretty much hollow and then in terms of the brush heads themselves i will say just from having gone into stores and feeling brushes they don't feel entirely super soft but i do like that we have a good variety i really appreciate that because i don't have a lot of variety because i only use a double-ended brush but this will be nice to kind of play around with and see what i can get like this one is an angled brush and I don't have anything like that. So that'll be kind of fun to play around with. And then the last thing of the box, well, something that I'm super, super excited about is this right here. And it is the makeup bag for this month. It is so cute. Like, look at all these little ladies sitting on their, I don't know, beach towels or yoga mats. I don't know what they're doing, but I just love it. They look super cute. So like they're having a lot of fun there. So yeah, I love this. I saw this on the app and I knew this was gonna be the one that I wanted to put into my purse and take along with me when I have makeup and stuff. So very excited about that. And I think this is actually where I'm gonna draw a lot of inspiration for the painting that we're gonna do. When I saw this on the app, I thought this was just absolutely adorable. So I think I wanna do some ladies with very thick legs. Like <laughs> that's just like the idea that I'm getting here and I kind of really like it. So love it. I think the color is very cute. It's definitely a very nice summery bag. So glad to have that. So without further ado, I'm going to bring out the sketchbook and we will start sketching some ideas for our painting. Hey, so I was about to start getting to the sketching of the painting, but then I realized I never told you the prices. So I went ahead and looked at the insert. And unfortunately, this doesn't actually give us the retail of everything or even like a little bit of extra information. And I really like that about the BoxyCharm boxes that they've been giving us that information so I can tell to you guys. 
But even though that is a little bit frustrating, I went ahead onto the Ipsy site and I can see the prices there. So I'll just go ahead and tell you guys from that. So I'm hoping that I'm reading this right. So I guess this is the full size product and this retails for $24. Do y'all hear this bird that is right outside my window acting a fool? <sighs> okay, sorry about that. This Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer is full size as well. And this is $38. The Araceli Beauty liquid eyeliner is full size and this is $16. The eyeshadow Fair Beauty brushes are also full size and these retail for $48, which is absolutely ridiculous to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about all that. And then this Ciate London metallic eyeshadow is full size as well. And this is $24. Okay. And when we do some quick math, the total for everything in the box is $150, which is pretty crazy but again i don't think those brushes should have been 48 dollars. i mean i know that's what they're priced at but i just whew, that's pretty steep for some brushes that don't feel very steep but 150 dollars. so again i think i paid 25 dollars for this so if that is the case that is a pretty good deal and i do think that all things included that definitely it is worth at least 25 dollars. so i'm not mad about that I'm glad I was able to tell you guys that. Now let's go back into making a character. Okay, so for this one, I was inspired by the makeup bag and the girls on it, the watermelons of the Pearlies Aqua Bomb, and the metallic shimmer of the Ciate London metallic eyeshadow. And this time around, I think my sketch came out so much better than typically. I mean, it didn't come out perfect because it is my quick sketch just to get an idea. But wow, if you've seen my other sketches, this one definitely is the best sketch so far. And I have to say for this one, the idea was very simplistic. I wouldn't say that I was very creative in how I was inspired by these products. I just saw those girls with thick legs and knew I wanted to draw a girl with thick legs. And of course, because it's summertime and all of the women were in bathing suits, I of course wanted to play that up and give her a bathing suit and put watermelons on it because that was the most simplistic idea I can think to include the watermelons. And like I've said before, I've been really enjoying adding a metallic shine to my pieces. So I knew that having a metallic makeup would be perfect because it would be the perfect inspiration to draw from. And I knew I wanted to include that in that way. So drawing her was pretty easy. She was not hard. I think I made her head way too big again. This is a problem that I've been doing with all of these. I think I should just start using bigger paper, but until I do that, I will continuously struggle. Okay, now we move on into the painting. And I think this was the first time I did one of these paintings and didn't have somewhere to be after. I didn't have to go to work this day. So I knew I could take the time to actually develop it and make it kind of nice. And for this, I know with the shading and the shadowing, I wanted to add just like a pinkish hue and just really block in those shadings without blending it out too well, but still making it look very nice and i love the way her skin tone turned out i think that might be my favorite thing about it is her skin tone and of course i gave her colorful hair because the girls on the makeup bag also had colorful hair so i wanted to include that in my piece as well i think her bathing suit came out awesome with the watermelon like it's very vibrant it's very bright it totally looks like a watermelon and i wasn't really sure exactly how i wanted to add the metallic background um, i wasn't sure if i just wanted to do it around her body or around the lines or the whole thing. I just went with the whole thing because I thought that would be the nicest to kind of have it pop out. Okay, so I am back and a lot closer up so you can see all of me and my not so great side, but my better side. And I was right. So I did tell you guys that I think I had another product from Pearlice and I did, but it wasn't from BoxyCharm. It was actually from that Ipsy mystery bag that I got. And this was, it was great because this and the instructions, the ritual as it calls it, it says cleanse skin with the Pearlies Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. And I was like, I have that. So I just went ahead and cleaned my face with this and I was really happy. And I guess you can t clearly see like a full size product from Pearlies versus a sample size product. Totally big versus small. So got to show you guys that as well. Okay, so that is on and that is very nice feeling. It's like crazy because it's so nice feeling, but the way it smells, it's just so off-putting to have it like all over my face. But maybe it's okay if anyone wants to give me a kiss, maybe it'll be <laughs> pretty nice for them. And the benefits are it moisturizes skin, the aloe vera helps reduce inflammation, the white tea protects skin from cellular damage, cucumber helps soothe and firm skin. 
and my face is a little bit angry so maybe we can use some soothing and firming and now i'm going to go in with the dr brandt luminizer primer and this says apply on clean moisturized skin use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application am to pm as you can see very bright and i hope this really does kind of blend in very very invisible okay yes as you can see this does blend in completely clear which i like and i like the smell of that that smells more like a product that i'd want on my face okay the foundation is on so the next thing i want to go into is like the eye product and before i do this i just want to kind of go in with an with a blend shade and then also the dark shade on the outside that i usually do but even though i'm using this master palette by anastasia beverly hills i did want to go ahead and show you because i'm going to be using the brushes for that i will start off with this brush 35e tapered blending brush so it's just this fluffy brush and i'm gonna go into this shade called isabel and that's just gonna be kind of for in the crease area so it does feel a little bit softer on the skin i mean I, I am applying it very softly but i do like the amount of product it picked up and is blending again just for comparison i should do that while i'm here this is the only eyeshadow brush I pretty much use exclusively, which is just what comes with the Anastasia palette, like I told you guys before. And here is the size difference of like, kind of what I work with. This is what I usually use for that crease color, even like to blend shades out. And this is obviously much bigger. And like I said, even though I don't know that it's worth $48 that it is, I still think that it was great to get um, a set of brushes. Maybe if you're definitely more beauty inclined and you kind of know what you're doing in terms of makeup for you would be better to kind of go off and get your own brushes but for me i really just like getting these because i don't have these products and i don't necessarily want to go out and buy these products individually so i still think the box is totally worth it for what i need um because since i'm not going out shopping for these things just to get them in the mail is definitely better and i definitely prefer it so even if these brushes were priced at $25, I think for the value of the box, I would totally do it again. Like, I like it. It's just, <laughs> I'm just always curious about why they're so expensive. Why the makeup industry is able to rob people blind. That's just me. Okay, and I'm going to go in with this brush just to use a different brush, just to say I got more uses out of the brush. And this is the 65E Large Shading Brush. So I'm going to go into this shade called Violetta, and I'm going to use that as my outer corner dark transitional shade matte brown color. And now for the thing you guys have been waiting for, the Ciate Lunde Metallic Eyeshadow I'm going to use. Yeah, so I just tried it with my with the brush, but if you guys remember from earlier when I swatched it with my fingers, it was very, 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 very pigmented and very opaque. So I'm going to try my brush just because I think I want it to be as crazy metallic as it can be just so you guys can see the full effect. Because this right now, you can't even like, if I'm kind of looking at you regularly... You can clearly see there's something different, but it's not like, bam, it's not like hitting you with that like metallic flare. Definitely something you want to apply with a finger, I think. So I feel like now you can just see clearly the difference. And what I'll just do is I'll go into the other side and apply with the brush so that I can compare to you what was the difference between the finger and the brush and you can see directly. Okay, so if you can see the difference, you can clearly see this side is like, hello, I'm metallic. And this eye is more your standard glitter eyeshadow but i didn't get this for a standard glitter eyeshadow i got this to be like bam glitter in your face <laughs> so next next thing's next there it is we're gonna go into our araceli liquid eyeliner we're gonna make the best wings you've ever seen we're gonna speak positively positivity into our lives it is going to be the best wing you've ever seen i promise you no, I don't. Okay, I'm sorry. I only did the one so far. I have to be very quiet when I do that because all of my focus is like, don't mess up, don't mess up. 
but I will come through in the halfway mark and say I love it. Um, I always knew felt tips are just nicer because you get that straight thin edge. The only thing, like I said, I typically don't buy these because I feel like they dry out fast, or at least in my experience, I've had ones that dried out fast. Um, but I'm not going to complain about getting one. And I'm hoping that it'll last me a good amount of time because this is definitely a better application process. Okay. They're not totally even, but I never expect them to really be super even just because again, my eye shapes are slightly different. I mean, I know if you're looking at it, I don't even know if you can see like if the sun is too bright right now. I can't tell when I'm trying to look back at <laughs> myself, but from what I can see, far enough away it looks even enough so yeah i liked it and i do think it was easier to apply than the brush combo so there's a win there yeah so let me go ahead and add some mascara brush my eyebrows add some powder and then i will go in with this which again was just the extra but since we're here might as well try it and then we'll do something on the lips and we'll call it a look. So I didn't end up adding powder just because I thought that I wasn't looking too greasy or oily, which hopefully was the primer. So because of that, I just didn't do that. But let's go in with the extra that we got. Of course, this wasn't a part of the June subscription box. This is a sixth item that I got because I had extra points. But just to kind of say we used it because we have it, let's add some blush. And this is the look. So I hope you guys like it. I really liked it. I think this was a nice Ipsy bag. So far now I've tried two BoxyCharm subscriptions and one of the Ipsy subscriptions. And I think in terms of comparing them to each other, I might slightly prefer BoxyCharm, but of course I've only gotten one Ipsy, so who knows? But I do like this one. I'm glad that it came with makeup brushes. I think I'm gonna use those a lot more. And I think the products were pretty good. I've said this before, but I do prefer makeup in these. When I took the quiz, I did try to gear towards that way, but I understand that we'll get some skincare products with this. And I know that sometimes I probably could use skincare, even though I don't really do it, I probably could use more of that. So I do want to implement these things into my, my regimen. And now that this has been on the skin, I do want to say I don't smell it at all. It's not something that's been offensive. Like just applying it and smelling it on my hands was very weird, but I don't actually smell it on the skin, which I think was very important for me. So I don't mind the watermelon anymore. I think it's really nice because it does look nice. The sun is so bright. Okay, okay, I had to hide some of the sun, but this again was the painting that we did and I think it really came out great. I think she's cute. I like that I added so many freckles on her and I did give her a shine to kind of go with that metallic eyeshadow that we got. I really like metallic shine, so I'd be adding that to all of my pictures. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please tell me what you think. Please tell me what you got in your Ipsy bag if you also get that as well. And I love you guys. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.